Hi guys, Arjita here. Welcome to today's card video where I've created this beautiful and bright card using uh, the Slimline series foliage frame die. And uh, I have used some Nina Solo white paper to cut this out. We will also be using the tiny elements uh, which are also the part of this die to add to this final card. So uh, this is a very beautiful and intricate die and uh, you hardly need anything. You can just cut it in a gold or a foil cardstock or even white and pop it on your slimline card, finish with a sentiment. So, but today I'll be adding some color on it and for that I'm using the Distress inks and the Trinity Blender brushes. I will leave all the names and details of the Distress ink shades I have used in the description box below and you can check that out. So here you'll see that um, I'll just be adding the color using uh, the blender brush and once this is done we'll move for the next step. Once the ink blending was done, I also added some white paint splatters on top so, add, so as to add more texture and interest in this foliage frame. I also uh, used some more distress inks to color in the tiny bits and uh, everything was ready. So I mounted some foam tape on the frame and adhered it on my slimline card base. So once this is done, uh, the card looks so pretty and it just needs a sentiment. But I had to add more and uh, uh, I used the smaller flowers first and uh, all the tiny elements which we have used. These are also from the same uh, stamps die set and uh, it started looking very pretty and very dainty and delicate. But um, I wanted to amp it even more so I decided to use the wallflower stamp set and uh, do the next step. So I used the Dahlia flower and uh, stamped it thrice with some uh, Versa mark and uh, heat embossed it in white embossing powder. So um, this was very fast and very quick. This is a beautiful flower illustration and it really brought everything together. This is a very bright card for sure and uh, it is um, some, for somebody who loves flowers and foliage. So um, here you can see that I'm adding uh, my color using the same blender brush which I used to color other uh, elements in this card and everything went very very fast. So um, now I'll be using some more foam tape to finish and uh, uh, place these elements on top of the card and everything was so beautiful and bright. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed making this card. It is very easy to mass produce it as well because it looks very detailed and as if you've put a lot of effort in this card but frankly it was quite easy. You can break down uh, the steps and uh, mass production can really be easy for this one. 
so here you can see that i'm tucking those uh, last few leaves using some liquid glue and then i have to get a sentiment on top of this card for that i'll be using the happy sentiment stamp set and uh, some black ink so uh, i used the sentiment which says happy birthday and i stamped it using some versafine black onyx ink on nina solar white paper so uh, this is done and i hope you enjoyed this card and if you did do not forget to let us know with your comments and also subscribe to our channel if you wish to see more such videos also visit the trinity blog for tons of inspiration and thank you so much for stopping by take care bye bye